4 beat swing. At this time you should be used to flourishing and beating in time with tape music. If you have reached this level, you are not far from playing with your band. It is a vital part of tenor drumming to be able to perform these tasks with relative ease. The next flourish we are about to show you is the most often used swing in all tenor drum scores. It is the four beat swing. And those of you who may be familiar with tenor drum scores will know that a great percentage of scores will consist of a plain four beats to the bar. Watch now as this swing is executed. The key to good flourish is to maintain an element of smoothness in the swing, but also a consistent tempo with the beats. You will notice the swings are even, the target is being hit, and there is no speeding up or slowing down of the swing or beats. It is brought out in an arc motion, adding finesse. The left hand, after it has struck, is swept under the arc, only to be brought back in time for the next beat. We have found it easy to fall into the trap of overemphasizing the arc motion, and prefer to keep it in check, as the speed of the swing will sometimes be of rapid nature. Important addition here is the three beat swing. This incorporates the basics of the four beat swing, only after three beats are played, the fourth is substituted with a double up. This is used quite regularly in tenor scores, where there are only three beats in the bar. Combine the four beats and the three beat swing as you practice. And have a practice along with some taped music. Once again, start with a moderate tempo and gradually build. Remember to think neat and smooth. To practice this swing in front of a mirror would also be of great benefit, as this enables you to see what you are doing from a different perspective. You may pick up a few faults you hadn't noticed before. <laughs> 